my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video with your girl Pamela Janani. Welcome back to my channel, Pamela Janani or Goddess. What is your vibe? So, guys, you can tell by the title, this video is going to be short, sweet, and simple. Okay, one of those, right? So, I'm celibate. Been celibate for almost a year now. Mm-hmm. I'm a. I'm. Do I want to say I'm a prude? I've always been, people call me a prude, so I don't know if I should take on that title or not. So I'm going to say I'm not, but people have called me a prude because of the way I, I maneuvered, right? Um, I was always one of those shy girls, okay, not into boys. And when I finally got, you know, to a person that I loved, I was with him for a long time, mm -hmm, a long time, okay? Um, I've been celibate. Since that person that I've truly, truly fell in love with, I've been celibate. Haven't even went on a date, okay? And it's not solely because of this person and me holding on to this person. Absolutely not. I just knew that I needed to heal. I needed time for myself because I was never one of those women or girls to put myself out there like that. I'm a, you know, I'm a romantic. I love love. And I believe to me, guys, for me, I always wanted to only be with one person, one person. I'm okay with that. I don't need to see a lot of ding-dongs, okay? Don't need to see a lot of ding-dongs to be happy and compare. Didn't want to do that. Didn't care to do that. So for me, you know, I really definitely wanted to, this to work with this person. You know what I mean? I did love that person. But there was a lot of things in that relationship that was unhealthy, okay? Was unhealthy, and I do not recommend staying in a unhealthy relationship. Um, and I'm not going to get into all the details of what happened with me and this person. But, you know, all in all, okay, we ended up, well, whatever, whatever happened, happened, right? And I was single and I've been celibate and single for almost a year now, okay? And um, I'm happy with it, okay? I never was the type to like, oh my gosh, you know, no more sex than that. Sex to me is important, but I don't want to have it and I can't have it if I don't have feelings for you. And not like, oh, I love you, like, <laughs> but I got to be in love with you. I got to love you, in love with you, thinking about marriage, kids, everything, right? I cannot just lay down and have sex with you just because I like you or you're hot. And that's okay, guys. If you guys are like that or if people don't... Con what I don't understand is that I don't want people to be like, oh, you think you're... The no, this is just my opinion about me and how I've always been modest and how I always carried myself. That's just my my view, right? But yeah, being celibate has been a journey for me because your girl, I, you know... <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. you know when I say by that. Mm -hmm. So for me not to have it for a long time, I chose to pleasure, okay? And I'm not trying to get all sexual in this video, but yes, self-pleasure over getting played is very important for me, okay? So what I mean by that, by getting played is not by getting played by your, your a partner or a person, but for me personally, when you're out there um, having hookups and you're having intercourse with different people, you're playing yourself, you're not just getting played by someone, whether you want to believe it or not. You're getting played because you're playing yourself. You are not be treating your body as God wants you to treat it. You're not saying you're th that you're sacred, okay? Hookups are not fun. And I don't care if you're watching me. You had hookups. That's totally fine. But hookups are not fun. You're literally giving your body and your soul to a random stranger, okay? Who you don't know what's going on with their bodily fluids or you don't know what's going on with their spiritual spirituality, okay? Both of them are huge and both of them are something that I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, risk myself at all, you know? So this is my opinion, guys. I'm not bashing anybody who hook up, okay? So don't think that I'm doing that, but it's okay for me to share my modest, my modest point of view because I know that there are other people out there who think like me, okay? I'm not the only person out there. Um, I know that it's rare, but I know that I'm not the only person out there who believe in, in, in values and morals and how to carry yourself, okay? Um, you know, I had a friend back in the day who hooked up with a lot of people, very, very openly okay with having intercourse and being freaky, okay? That was never me, yin and yang, you know, that was my girl and whatnot, but I was standing on the corner against the club walls while she was over there doing her thing, you know what I'm saying? And that was okay, so I never judged anybody for what they wanted to do or partake in, but I always remained myself, which is something that I am very, very proud and grateful of, and I pray that my daughter takes on that as well, because... Um, I believe that having morals and being modest is a beautiful thing. Now, I like to dress sexy, but I don't dress dress half naked, okay? And if you do, that's okay, okay? I feel like I got to keep saying if you do, 
this and you do that, that's okay. If you do just have naked, that's okay. If that's what you want. I'm not here to judge you, okay? I want everybody to be happy and doing what they want to do. So I can say that I want, I like something and then I can respect you, okay? But I've always been the type to, yeah, I can dress sexy if I want to. I can, I wear something that's fitted and you can see my curves and everything, but I do not show skin. I do not believe in showing the next man my body, especially if I'm going to be with another man or if I have a man on my arm, okay? I don't believe in that, all right? So, you know, that, that's me. I've been celibate for almost a year and it's going absolutely okay. And me saying you, I deserve, I think you should be pleasured and played is being at home by yourself. Pleasuring yourself is totally okay with me. And I know that a lot of people, religious people say that, you know, masturbation is not good, but I believe that masturbation is okay. I believe that we're all, um, not horny. Oh, I'm sorry. I believe that we're all, um, human. Okay. And if you had it already, you've had that orgasm already, then you already know. So you want it again. You know what I'm saying? And hello, yeah, your girl wants it again. So if I want it, I prefer to do it myself at home than go out to a club and then drink some drinks and then fill myself because somebody looks hot and they think I'm hot and then bada boom, bada bing. Absolutely not. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm going to use my toy at home. And I think that that is a okay. Okay. So I prefer and being pleasured. Okay. Then getting played. All right. So let's tap into what else I got here. Cause I wrote down a few things that I wanted to give you guys an update on. If you're celibate, comment down below. I'm celibate too. And let me know how it's going for you. Or if you want to be celibate, then do it. Okay. Trust me, do it. Um, you know, on this journey of being celibate and not dating, cause I haven't dated since my person, I haven't dated, I haven't had intercourse and I am so happy with that. I am just, I found, you know, a lot about myself and I found, I healed. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't just go from this person and then go from this, go to this person. And, and I still love that person. I couldn't do that. You know what I mean? I don't think that it's normal for you to do that. You're not being true with the person that you're dating. You know what I mean? So I, I've healed beautifully, okay? And I've learned how to love myself because I lost myself in this person that I was with. And I'm not blaming him and I'm not blaming me, but I lost myself in him. I was so in love with him, okay? And, you know, and I lost myself. And in the midst of us being separated now, me being celibate and not even dating, I've learned to love myself and learn my value because I did lose my value, okay? I lost my value in that relationship. I lost my security in that relationship. I didn't feel, you know, as I was beautiful. I just lost a lot and I found it, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I found it through being celibate and through not dating anybody. I found it. Um, yes, there's lonely nights where I wanted to go out there and I want to date and I want to meet somebody new and chat it up, right? And I was chatting with a few people, you know? Chatting with people is cool, you know? Um, and I always let people know, you know, when I'm, you know, I was chatting with people on a dating app or whatever, I am dating for purpose. I'm dating for marriage. I am open to friends. Okay. But to be quite honest with you, every single man that I said, I, I, I'm cool with being friends with, they were like, mm, no, you know what I mean? I like you. I want to like, I want to date and stuff. And they were not okay with it. Okay. So, you know, it probably worked out to my favor and you know, we never really connected. If you tell me something or if I tell them something and, and I, I get the vibe that they're not into it, then I'm, I'm okay. Step, step. See, see, gotta go. You know what I mean? I trust that God is going to make it happen for me. I am so obedient with God more than ever now. I'm a beautiful woman. I'm a smart woman. I'm a boss, boss. You know what I mean? CEO. Like, you know, I have a lot going on for myself and it gets better. You know what I mean? And it's not just about me being a boss and me being, bringing finances to the table that I will bring, but it's also about my heart. For me, guys, I'm not out for money. I've had so many men who really, really wanted to date me and, and treat me like a queen, okay? And, and and I turned them down because I don't, there was no connection for me there. And they were all about money. I don't want some, I want someone who's wealthy, absolutely. I want someone who can provide, absolutely. But if you are greedy and you're all about money and it's all about money and flashy cars, I'm not into that. That is not something that I, that makes your girl juices flow. It's just not. I mean, sorry to be a little technical, but... It doesn't do it for me. I want you to be a man of God. I want you to love. I want you to be, you know, have some good qualities about you. I don't want a superficial man. I want a godly man, okay? Somebody who is going to love God, get on your knees, pray with me, talk to, talk, talk to me about God. And someone who's going to also take my hand and lead me two inches above me, two inches before me. I want a man who's going to lead me, protect me, and all that good stuff, okay? So 
I know that God is going to give me this person because God is all over me in my life. And I know that God wants me to be happy with the person and he's going to provide that for me. And I trust him. And so if I see a red flag, I'm not, I'm not so hungry to be like, okay, I'm going to settle. Like, let me just see what's going to happen. No, that was a red flag. So bye. You know what I mean? So that is how I am right now. And I think that having God and being celibate is a beautiful thing. I'm so happy that I haven't dated yet. Okay. Because I know that if I did, um, I was going to carry some unhealed energy to that next person. You know what I mean? Um, and it's a beautiful thing. All right. So dating wise, I've been asked out on dates, dating apps and in person as well. Um, recently there's this guy who asked me out on a date in person and I said, no, you know, like if, but if you want to be friends, I'm down. And he was like, no, they want to date. So I was honest and then he was honest and that's a beautiful thing. And that's for me how it is. Now, do I want to date soon? Yes. Okay. I do want to date soon. I feel like I'm, 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 you know, I'm just about ready. So I'm going to say the springtime I'll be ready to date, but I'm not looking forward to dating in January or February. Valentine's is coming up. Yes, I know. I know the, my Valentine's will be my kids. Okay. And I'm so, so happy about that. I don't need a man under me. I don't need a man to do anything. I, I prefer, you know, a good, I prefer what I'm looking for and not just a body. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so dating, you know, there are no dates yet guys. And that is because I don't want it. I don't want it. I wasn't ready and I'm still not ready just yet. Not, I just have a lot of things that I'm focused on with my career, with, you know, um, you know, bringing people to God's kingdom. I'm on here inspiring you guys. I have a lot to do with God and for God. So I'm truly, truly focused on that and a lot more and my kids, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm very happy at, as to where I am in life right now. I am so super, super happy that I didn't jump into dating because, um, you know, I'm no, I'm human. So I could have been on that date and then he could have been looking good. And then he thought I was looking good. And then we had some drinks and then we snagged, you know, kissed and stuff. And then bam, something happened that I didn't want to happen. I didn't want that. And that didn't happen. So I'm grateful for that. Okay. I'm human and yes, I can control, I can control myself. Okay. So I'm not saying that I can't control myself, but you know, things can happen. So I'm happy that I saved myself. Okay. And you know, it's going on in a year now and I'm okay with that and all is well. So if you're celibate, comment down below how it's going for you. If you want to be celibate, I recommend doing it. I recommend, like I said in my other video, being engaged to God, be engaged to God and God will bring you someone to be engaged to. Okay. So that is it for this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and definitely share my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love and light. Bye.